where you know the engine is at the right temperature and the coolant's trickling through and it's giving the engine enough heat uh, relief, sorry, enough cooling um, to keep it from overheating. And then if you pull up to a stop sign and you're sitting there idling for a while at a traffic light or whatever, um, the engine's going to heat up a little bit. So then the thermostat will open slightly and allow a little bit more coolant to go through the system. And then when you start driving down the highway, especially in the winter, I mean, picture that you're driving minus 10, minus 15, and all that cold air is blowing over top of the radiator, well, that thermostat is gonna close up quite a bit because it really doesn't need all that much cooling to happen. Um, so that's adjusting all the time, okay? When your engine is cold, when you first go out to start it, the thermostat's closed, and it doesn't actually allow any flow through the radiator at all. And that gives the engine a chance to warm up quicker so that you get to a good state of running tune right away. Again, go back to that fuel air mixture topic, go back to that uh, temperature sensor. Um, it, it's a really important little device. And so the engine needs to be warmed up as quickly as possible so that you get out of that cold running cycle where the engine is being, you know, where the, where the computer is telling the engine to spray more fuel, um, telling the fuel injectors to spray more fuel. You want to get out of that as fast, as fast as possible and get into regular running state. All right, so yeah, so that's way down there is where the coolant goes back into the engine. Then it flows through all the water jackets in the engine block and in the uh, cylinder head. And eventually it makes its way out and comes back to here again. And then it makes that circuit all the way back through the radiator again. Okay. Something that some of you might have seen before, certainly uh, I see this in heavy trucks and in agricultural equipment, tractors and such. People will put, um, if it's really cold, people will actually stuff a sheet of cardboard or something like that in here to block the radiator. Um, which might sound like a dumb idea, like, well, I thought the radiator is supposed to have air flowing through it. Yep, it is. But in the wintertime when it's really, really cold, in some cases the radiator cools the coolant too much and so you basically put a little sheet of plywood in here or you know paneling or cardboard or whatever maybe you don't block the whole radiator maybe you only block part of it and then not quite so much cold air goes directly over the radiator okay something else that some of you might have seen and this is on highway truck tractors um, is you'll see a it looks like a big blanket or a tarp going across in front of the radiator on the truck and it's actually got a zipper or a velcro fitting down the middle and it's got flaps that can be opened and so picture that you're a trucker and you're in Ontario and it's minus 5 or minus 10 here and you're going south you're going to Florida to pick up a load of oranges and grapefruits and stuff so you start driving south and you've got this thing pretty much zipped up because it's cold and then the further south you go the temperature starts to go up right you get into Pennsylvania um, you know you get a third of the way down there all of a sudden it's not minus 5 or minus 10 anymore it's like 10 degrees plus well you stop at a truck stop get your coffee get your little you know diner dinner bacon and eggs and whatever and you open up this flap to allow air to go through the radiator. If you leave it all tucked in, your engine's actually gonna overheat. And by the time you get to Florida, maybe it's 20 or 25 degrees, you'll have this thing fully open because you need all that airflow going through the radiator to cool your engine. And then you hook up your trailer, you pick up your load of oranges and grapefruits and you start heading back to Ontario. And the further north you go, you watch your temperature gauge go down, 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 because it's starting to get cold again. And then you get to the point where the engine's getting too cool. And again, too cool means that that temperature sensor in there is going to be telling the computer to add more fuel um, because it thinks that it's in a warm-up cycle. It doesn't actually know any better. Okay, so it doesn't know that the engine's all warmed up because the only way to measure that is with the temperature sensor and if the radiator cools off the coolant too much, then the temperature sensor reads a cool reading. So 
that's what that's all about. Um, you drive back up into the northern states and you start zipping that blanket back up again and by the time you're into Ontario maybe it's fully closed again. All right. So if you've seen that, that's what that's all about. And um, certainly out west where you see you know colder temperatures or if you look at northern Alberta um, you know they'll have cardboard stuffed in everywhere trying to keep minimize the airflow through the rad because things just get too cooled off. Um, so that's basically the circuit of the cooling system in a, in a maybe it's not that brief here we are at 17 minutes but uh, that's basically how all of that system works.